Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is morning prayer for Monday, June the 10th. And the scriptures for this service, Psalms 56, 57, and 58, and Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1 to 10. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me. Alleluia. Psalms 56, 57, and 58. Be merciful to me, O God, for my enemies would swallow me. They fight me all day and oppress me. My enemies would swallow me, for there are many that fight against me, O God Most High. When I am afraid, I trust in you, and I praise your word. I have put my trust in you. I will not fear what mere mortals can do to me. Every day they twist my words, and all their thoughts are evil against me. They gather themselves together, they hide and mark my steps, because they seek to take my life. Shall they escape by, e by doing evil? In your anger, cast down the people, O God. You tell my wanderings, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not written in your book? When I call to you, my enemies retreat. By this I know that you are on my side, and I praise your word. I have put my trust in you. I will not fear what mere mortals can do to me. I am bound by the vows I made to you, and I will render praises to you. For you have delivered me from death. Deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before you in the light of the living. Alleluia. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful, for my soul trusts in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until these troubles pass by. I cry to you, God Most High, to you that performs all things for me. You will send from heaven and save me from the reproach of them that would swallow me. Send forth your mercy and your truth. I lie among lions who would devour us all, whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongues sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory be above all the earth. They have repaired a net to snare me. My soul is bowed down. They have dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is fixed, O God. I sing and give praise. Awake, my glory, awake, sultry at heart. I myself will wake the dawn. I praise you, O God, among the peoples. I sing to you among the nations, for your mercy is great and reaches the heavens, and your truth to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Alleluia. Do you speak righteousness, O powerful ones? Do you judge with equity? No, in your heart you devise evil, and you deal out violence to the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stops up her ears, which will not listen to the charmer's voice, no matter how skillfully he charms. Break their teeth, O God, break out the great teeth of the young lions. Let them melt as waters which run off. When you bend the bow to shoot arrows, let them be cut to pieces. As a snail which melts, let every one of them pass away, like the stillborn child that never sees the sun. Before they can put out thorns, take them away with a whirlwind. The righteous shall rejoice when they see the vengeance. They shall wash their feet in the blood of the wicked. And they will say, truly, there is a reward for the righteous. Truly, our God judges the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Be merciful to me, O God, 
for my enemies would swallow me. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, beginning at verse 1. When all these things have happened to you, the blessings and the curses that I have set before you, if you call them to mind among all the nations, where the Most High your God has driven you, and return to the Most High your God, and you and your children obey God with all your heart and all your soul, just as I am commanding you today. Then the Most High your God will restore your fortunes and have compassion on you, gathering you again from all the peoples among whom the Most High your God has scattered you. Even if you are exiled to the ends of the world, from there the Most High your God will gather you, and from there God will bring you back. The Most High, your God, will bring you into the land that your ancestors possessed, and you will possess it. God will make you more prosperous and numerous than your ancestors. And moreover, the Most High, your God, will circumcise your heart and the heart of your descendants, so that you will love the Most High, your God, with all your heart and all your soul, in order that you may live. The Most High, your God, will put all these curses on your enemies and on the adversaries who took advantage of you. And then you shall again obey the Most High, observing all God's commandments that I am commanding you today. And the Most High, your God, will make you abundantly prosperous in all your undertakings, in the fruit of your body, in the fruit of your livestock, and in the fruit of your soil. For the Most High will again take delight in prospering you, just as God delighted in prospering your ancestors. When you obey the Most High your God by observing God's commandments and decrees that are written in this book of the law, because you turn to the Most High your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. For the mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours. Grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as Christ loves us. Comfort and heal all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles. Bring them the joy of your salvation. We pray for the sick, especially Carol, Melissa, Carol, Jayla, Marion, and James. We pray for the caregivers, especially Marianne and Deb, Denise, Melody, Alan, Joe, and Bill. We pray for those recovering for, from surgery, especially Mary Lynn. And we pray for those in prison, especially Sean. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with Francis and Claire and all your saints in your eternal kingdom. We remember especially George, Walter Arthur, and Tom. that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. 
Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Be merciful to us, O tender God, for we place our trust in you and will not fear those who oppress us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.